Hello and welcome to this new video in which I'm going to explain something that will make your life a way much easier. It will save you money. You don't need any assistant in your business and you don't need people to keep an eye on every message coming forward or every phone call. With this new platform, you'll be able to use AI to respond to any messages, close deals and get leads from your website visitors or from your business visitors. It even have phone call feature which can easily respond to anyone using real time voice calls. All of this is provided in this new platform. It's called New Akaz AI. Now, it's a human like iPhone agent that converts. It's not a phone call it's also a website chat box that you can install on any website you can even create your own website and send it to your customers in case they have any questions and if the ai fail to answer any of these questions it will turn them to a handover feature which will hand the chat over to real human support so let's dig deep the first thing that you would need to do is to visit, visit the link in the description to sign up for a free account. Now, once you signed up, you can go to the My Chatbots tab. And in here, you can create new chatbot from template or new chatbot. I already have one here and it's live. You can train one. You can add one without training it. And if it failed to get trained, it will show up like this. Now. The next step is clicking new chatbot from template. I usually start with a template because it will make your life way much easier. And we are going to do a real life case here. So click new chatbot from template. And once you do that, you can choose a chatbot template. Go high level, real estate, e-commerce. So let's, if you have a general purpose chatbot, it's not an e-commerce or real estate, then click go high level. Now, as you can see, we have a lot of templates onboarding AI assistant, AI recruiting agent, and we have a lot of other templates, AI cleaning, service demo, e-commerce demo, AI leasing agent, and real estate demo. You can choose any of these. Now you can uh, choose the onboarding AI assistant, or you can choose the go high level and click next. Now, the Go High Level is basically a service that you can use, but if you don't want to use, you can go back, click New Chatbot from Template, and choose any of these. Now, to make things even easier for you, I'm going to create this from scratch. Click New Chatbot, and in here you can upload files so that you can start training your chatbot. You can add text, you can add a website link, you can add Q&A questions, questions and their answers, or you can add a Google Sheet that have all the questions and their answers to help train this chatbot. Now, for the sake of this explanation to make it fast and to show you the progress, we will create a chatbot for this website. It's basically an online academy. So I'll copy the link and go here and click Fetch link. Now it will fetch the links. Now you can also add a sitemap if you want, but you'll have to wait a few seconds for the website to fetch the links that it will use in training the model. So as you can see, it's fetching. Now, if you know the feed URL, you can also add the feeds. So click feed. And you will get the RSS feed that you can also use. So you can copy and you can place here and you can ask it to auto sync sitemap to retrain the chatbot, which will auto link. Now found 15 links for you. The application has been automatically removed for you. So as you can see, all these links are added so the chatbot can train on them. Now load the additional sitemap, which will load the sitemap for our chatbot. Now click select all to include all of these links and click create chatbot. Now 
it will start training that chatbot on the links that it did capture. Now, what I also like to do is go to ChatGPT and ask it to write, let's say, a knowledge base for this website. I usually copy the content of the website, go to ChatGPT, ask it to create a knowledge base, five to 10 pages, then save it as PDF and upload it to the chatbot so that it is trained on every possible scenario. And you can even ask ChatGPT to write a document that have Q&A, like questions and answers expected from the visitors so that you can train your bot the right way. Now, as you can see, it will move on uh, capturing and crawling so that it knows exactly what's inside these links. And this is basically how you train your chatbot. Now, once the chatbot is trained, we will configure it and we will add more details. We will enable phone calls so that it can answer anyone. And I'll test it out in front of you. But we'll have to wait for the crawling process. Video review. Okay, now the chatbot is trained, and as you can see, it's a new chatbot, and this is the name. Now you can test it out here by asking it any questions. You can go to the settings so that you can set everything. Now, as you can see, you can change the name to build script. You can save. Now the name is changed. Now you can keep scrolling, and here is what this model will do. It's basically a sales service, as you can see here. So the prompt template can be changed from here. You can choose customer service, appointment booking, sales service, or conversational lead. Now, depending on your business model, you can choose any of these. You can even choose the AI model that you are going to use. And in this case, we are using O3 Mini Medium. You can click Save once done and go to the form builder here you can add http request you can go to chat interface and configure the user interface to include custom messages to include shadow and you can set it depending on your specifications you can add your facebook link whatsapp link and instagram link and they will appear here now as you can see, you can even add your privacy policy. Now, this is regarding the chat interface. You can add your own custom domain if you want. You can add notification so that you will receive daily notification whenever a new lead comes in. You can change the security features as well. Now, if you went to the voice AI, I usually prefer enabling the web voice call, which will show this. Now, this is basically a, phone, an, a web phone call agent that you can call and you can change the name here business academy business script academy okay now you can write the same name here and your web call agent is ready to be used. Now you can change the voice here. Hi, this is, your... is Sarah. And you can change this to 360 seconds so that the voice or the phone call uh, go through for at least five minutes. Now you can transfer the call to any number and you can enable Twilio voice calls. It has a lot of features and it, need, it needs a lot of time to figure everything out. Now. Here you can ask for the person to provide his first name, his email, his phone number, and his message at the end of each chat. So you can uh, display this for every question or display it only when a human take over. Now you can click save at the end. I usually prefer to enable this to get the user email and name. Here you can see your chat logs. And here you can enable appointments so that anyone can book an appointment with you using this chatbot. And here you can enable the live chat, as you can see. Now, next step, sources. You can retrain your chatbot by uploading files here. 
and here you can embed the chatbot on your website. You can copy this iframe and it will add this chatbot to any page on your website. Or if you want to add this, like this pop-up window, you can copy this script and it will show up here. Now, this is the embed on website feature. There are a lot of integrations as well. Google, Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. You can enable them so that the chatbot can be used within any of these. Now, going back, let's ask it a question. So let's say, who are you? Now, it will answer if you have the API key set. Now, if you don't have it set, you have to go to the settings. And in here, this is my workspace. Let's go back to my chatbot and go back to business script. And in the settings, I don't have all three mini enabled. So let's select four all mini and copy. Now going back to the chatbot to this doubt, let's ask it, who are you? And it will answer, as you can see. How can I assist you? What is this academy? Now it will answer you with the information that it took from the pages, as you can see. Let's try another language. And as you can see, it's answering and using the language of the speaker. Now that's it for this. So let's go to the chatbot again, business, and let's try the voice AI feature. So click here, talk to AI agent. Now it will answer. This is your AI assistant. Hello, this is your assistant. How may I help you today? Hi, so I need to know how much would it cost to join your academy? The cost to join Business Script Academy varies depending on the program and courses you teach. Okay, as you can see, it's answering me depending on my question. So that's it. All what you need to do is to sign up, train your chatbot, and set it up on your website, and you'll have a good night's sleep. No action is needed from your side. Just train the bot, put it out there, and it will answer your visitors' questions, and it will help you a lot. It will save a lot of your time by reducing the amount of work needed by the customer support. Thanks for watching this video. Again, if you joined using the link in this video description, you will get a huge discount. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments and I'm here to help. Thanks for watching. This is Asher from Educational Engineering Team.